Time to play a hole at the Irish Open's host course La Hinch now, and Iona joined the 2018 champion Russell Knox on the blind par 3 fifth. Russell, how many blind par 3 shots have you hit in your life? Presswick has a good uh, blind one, but there aren't very many. So yeah. what's the strategy? Hit and hope, that's always the strategy. <laughs> but to be honest, golf's a numbers game, so it doesn't matter if there's a massive hill in the way. If it's 160 yards, it's 160 yards. Like, we're all good enough where we should be able to hit it reasonably, the number. So, yes, this is unique. When the weather's like this, it's not as difficult. Yeah. I mean, if it was super windy and raining, it would be yeah. miserable. Yeah, it'd I was going to say, hard, yeah. how many practice shots do you have to hit on a blind tee shot to know in case you come here during the week and the wind's got right up? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, I, it wasn't very windy uh, yesterday when I played, nor today. So it's going to be one of those things you just have to go with. But fortunately, they put that little white rock stone in there, stone. so that, uh, <laughs> that's going to help us out a lot. And they move that depending on where the pin position is, is that right? Yes, that is correct. That's correct. So it looks like it's on the right-hand side today. What are you thinking? Can you talk me through the stroke saver? Yeah, I mean, we have roughly 146 to the front, and then okay. the, the pin's on nine, so we're looking at roughly a 160 shot, I think, is, is going to be good. And it looks like possibly the green might be slightly below us here. So you hope it's going to land quite nicely? Yeah, I mean, there isn't much space to hit it in there, so you're... you're I can't even see where the green might be at this point, so I'm going to watch where your ball goes, yes, and that'll give me a good idea. Definitely hoping uh, we get the right club. <laughs> caddy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the caddy uh, we're, feel we're, a little, we're off the right, maybe a fraction in, 160. I mean, we're between an 8 and a 7. What do we think? 7 with a bit of backstop. Yeah, because we... I, I got a tip from a, a local man that long is always better than short here, okay. so... Local tips are always uh, good on the links. Strike. It's that over the rock. Right over the rock. Can't clap. I can't clap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Russell, you obviously grew up playing. Was it near and Dunbar? You grew up Correct. on the links, and now you live in America. Do you enjoy coming back here to play? I do. I mean, especially when the weather's like this. I mean, uh, any links course when it's sunny and uh, kind of warm is, is a joy to play. But then, uh, no, I do miss the, the UK and, uh, and Ireland. So. It's, uh, like I said, it's a joy to come back and uh, it's a different test, but you, you always embrace that and, and it, I completely love it. Well, you obviously play very well on Lynx golf and what do you think, in your opinion, makes a good Lynx player? I mean, you got to flight your ball. You've got to be able to, to hit it a little flatter. Um, the very high ball hitters, the very high spin players uh, maybe will struggle around Lynx golf when it gets very windy. Um, but everyone's capable. I mean, uh, I would say around the greens, um, I mean, you've got to learn the kind of the bump and run shot and yeah. being able to putt it kind of up slopes, um, that, that type of stuff. But yeah. um, it's just golf. I mean, if you play well, you can score well. And if you're struggling, it's, uh, it's going to be tough. Have you thought quite carefully about how important it is to play the Irish and the Scottish before the Open? Yeah, I mean, I, this is the, the stretch that I mark on my calendar uh, from the January 1st. I mean. It's, a, it's an honour to play these big tournaments in Europe, the Rolex Series events, and um, obviously defending the Irish Open is, is dream come true, and then the Scottish Open is, is a massive tournament for me, being from Scotland, and, yeah. and then get to playing a major uh, at the Open in Portrush is a dream come true. So yeah. it's, a, it's a massive stretch, and I hope I play well. Yeah, and just out of interest, where do you feel more pressure, defending the Irish Open or playing at home in Scotland? I've got no pressure this week. I've already won it. And, uh, <laughs> so even if I uh, even if I shoot 285s, I mean, uh, I still have that trophy at home. And uh, so no, I, I'm just going to enjoy myself this week. I would love to win the Scottish Open. Obviously, any any person would love to win their home Open. So um, I'll probably will feel a little bit more pressure. Hopefully, I'll do well. Great. Well, it looks like you are on the green. So let's see if you can make a birdie too. Easy as that. Thank you. Thanks. Easy as that, Russell. Easy Good to see why you are the defending <laughs> <One take>. cap. <laughs> well, best of luck this week. Thanks for giving us a little bit of insight into the Lynx golf, and we look forward to seeing you play. Thank you very much. Thanks. Two. <laughs>